This is the first successful test print on the BFP or Big FDM printer. Um, it's a segment of a, um, well it's a test piece, but it's a segment of a light fixture that I'm building. Um, and the chamber temperature is 60 degrees Celsius. The bed temperature I think is around 120. The nozzle temperature is 260. Um, you can see we've got the roller bellows design is working perfectly. Um, and then we've got all the electronics in the back, um, which a cover for these will be printed very soon. You've got your Duet Wi-Fi, you've got some relays, you've got your power supplies, um, and then a radiator and a reservoir for the hot end, which is water-cooled, um, which is nice, but not necessary. This project, I had it spec'd out for a different project and um, figured there's no point in buying a new one just for this, like, buying a different hot end, so I just figured I'd use the water-cooled one. and. I don't regret it, it keeps the cold end real cold, but anyways, this is the first uh, successful test print. There are a few other test prints, but none that really got past the first layer, so this is the first one past the first layer. It's a Core XY setup, two NEMA 23s for the X and Y, and then um, one for the Z, and the Z is, we've got mesh, mesh bed leveling compensa compensation happening, so that's why you're hearing that creaking. So if we go back to the Z motor, you can see it's slowly moving as we go along, um, just compensating for those uh, those changes. The Z is the ball screw. Um, that'll be changed in the next design revision to a lead screw because you don't need a ball screw for this application. They were just cheap, and I bought one. So, all right, that pretty much sums it up.